Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have Devil here. Capricorn energy. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the devil. The chariot. Hmm. Cancer energy. Clarify the four of swords. Six of wands. Clarify the nine of cups. The wheel of fortune, Sagittarius and Pisces energy. Clarify the ten of pentacles. The page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Huh. Interesting, interesting. So we have it's time on the back of the deck. So we have divine intervention, no more running. There's somebody that's been holding back from you or withdrew from a connection from you, is not speaking to you out of pride. Some of you guys may also feel like since you and a certain person stopped talking or since you pull back your energy from them, you may feel like things have been going a lot better for you somebody may also be thinking or either this is you or this whoever this person is is thinking because you have you you pull back your energy you're it's because you're getting attention from other people or another person okay somebody is obsessing about having some type of success with you or they're they're obsessing over something here like it's almost like if this person feels like there's competition for you they're like obsessing over it and they're obsessing over like coming out on top being the one that you choose Wanting to dominate the competition for you. It's like that type of thing. But I definitely feel like this is somebody that at some point was holding back from you out of pride or ego or something like that. We have the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So you have wish fulfillment coming in. Things are changing. Spirit says it's time. You have some something that you are wishing and hoping for. It could just be that you guys are just ready to be happy and fulfilled. You know, where you want to be at in life. Who, with who you want to be. or With, with the, you know, the right person or at the right job or whatever. Spirit is saying... But this is kind of looking like love. Obviously, this is a twin flame reading. It is coming in for you. Now, we need to get clarity on what this Ten of Pentacles and this Page of Swords is. Maybe somebody's wondering if you have gotten into another commitment or something like that. So, there's the Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. The yeah, it's almost like somebody wants to know if, like, somebody's watching you or they're curious to know if... <sighs> somebody want, somebody mm, Libra energy here with Justice. Ace of Wands. But what are they, what's the page of swords though? The eight of pentacles and wishing, suffering in silence. Huh. It's just like somebody's been observing you. They've been watching you, but not making any moves towards you. I told you for some of you, it's because of ego. Just wishing for you, not saying anything. I don't know. Wanting a new beginning with you. I think they like they, they like you sexually, I'm going to be honest. Like, they're very attracted to you, wanting you in that way. What is justice here? They could be going through karma with ten of cups. It's almost like somebody wants to know if you've met, like, a person. They want to know if you've met somebody. Either this person is thinking that they want to do right by you and bring justice to a situation with you. Or I think that somebody is curious to know if you've met somebody that is doing right by you. Like if you've met a good person that's taking care of you and treating you right and that can give you everything that they, they weren't giving you. It's almost like that. Because what does that mean for this person? And if it's not, what does that mean for this person? The moon. I'm telling you. They are worried that you've met somebody that is going to commit to that has committed to you that is like serious about you that you're happy with and that's taking things seriously with you like that you're in some type of stable committed relationship and i feel like they they feel like there's uncertainty around this like they can't they don't really know what's going on so they could be trying to spy on you to see if you've gotten into built you know you're building a foundation with somebody else yeah divine timing is here though what about divine timing two of cups okay what's that do with anything clean up yeah, patience is needed. Cutting karmic ties, strong connection. What about this? The nine of C. I'm telling you that somebody is over there obsessing because they feel like now, because you're not speaking to them, they think that you're getting attention from somebody else. Somebody thinks that you're in another commitment. You've settled down with somebody. You must have settled down with somebody. You must have somebody that's giving you 
something that's better than whatever they were giving you because you're no longer talking to them or you're no longer, longer giving them your attention. The Spirit says it's time for you to be happy and fulfilled, for your wishes and to come true, whether it's with this person or a different one that is going to give you what you deserve. There's about to be a change in your love life. Whether you have like a brand new, really good person, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's coming in for you, that's going to be loyal to you and take you seriously and commit to you and, you know, have their shit together or it's this person. But yeah, we have divinely guided on the back of the deck. What about divinely guided? You have, but somebody is really worried. They're over there. What about clean up? Hermit. What's that do with my collective? It's time. Okay, what's that mean for this person? Waiting. See, this person's over while they were sitting over there in their ego, waiting for you to make the first move for them. You guys have been over here healing and working on yourself and soul searching. And this is what the divine really wanted you to do. Yeah, and like things are about to manifest for you. All right, you're manifesting something. And while they're, it's like they're over there, like, hoping you return and you come towards them and wondering what's going on with you. It's, yeah, because they're, I'm telling you, ego. Reject. They're, they maybe also haven't been coming towards you because they're afraid that if they do come towards you, you'll be in a commitment. You, you'll, you'll reject them. Resi why are they resisting this connection out of ego? What is res Why are they resisting it? Children? They're childish. I feel like that's what it is. Res oh, what is this? Awakening. This person is very emotionally immature, and I feel like this person didn't know how they felt about you. With the Three of Cups, the Awakening card, and the Children card, I feel like this person was very emotionally immature, and I feel like they tried to maybe put you in the friend zone, or they, for some of you, they at some point looked at you as more as a friend, or they wanted to keep things like more like friends with benefits or lighthearted with you, um, because they didn't have the emo emotional capacity to really understand that there was something deeper going on between the two of you, or they didn't know what to do with it. I don't know, but for some of you, they maybe had a third party, but they're starting to awaken to something here. Um, death, yeah, something's changing. Maybe that they're awakening since there was an ending. Yeah, since you guys maybe cut this person off. Queen of Swords energy, energy set boundaries. You've just been focusing on yourself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah, Three of Swords. And the internal conflict. Internal conflict about what? Frozen, hard to let go, resisting change. This person has been over here conflicted about whether or not they want to make certain changes to be able to like why are they so conflicted about this five of wands yeah conflict the ten of swords what's that with my collective the sun things are going well for you growth renewal joy happiness and love but why is the five of swords here the two of swords Who, who's conflicted what about the queen of wands the page of wands somebody doesn't know if this is just like sexual like they, they don't somebody is like thinking like okay is this just like do i just lust like do i just lust for this person or do i just love them like because this person maybe feels like you know they know that lust doesn't last or you know lust is temporary they know that they're very attracted to you but it's almost like this person is like they're this person is very fleeting like they're very fickle like nine of pentacles what about Nine of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups. The, somebody just knows you're single and available and moving on. And that means that you're opening up to new love. And what does that mean for them? For some of you, they chose somebody over you. They chose, they did choose somebody over you that was very, it could have been strictly sexual or it was just something that was very short-lived. They know that, they, I'm telling you, didn't I say this person wants to dominate the competition? It says wanting to conquer you. Because whether you know this or not, this person knows that you're a catch. They know, they they do fear losing you completely. So why are they playing games with you then? Because they're just, what are they weighing their options about? Yeah, lessons. Separation is necessary. They couldn't make up their mind. They wanted to keep juggling or they couldn't make up their mind about you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, the Knight of Wands. I'm telling you. For some of you, this person just didn't know if they wanted to settle down and just be with one person. If they just wanted something that was strictly sexual or if they were ready to settle down. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. But it's like, holding on to what? Mm. The star. What are they holding on to? Eight of Wands. And I'm telling you, this person has had a lot more feelings for you. Then they've let on, but with this straight card, this card literally says on it, taming emotions. This person has a lot more feelings and emotions for you than they've been letting on. I feel like they didn't know what to do with these feelings and emotions for you because they're very immature. 
you're dealing with a very immature person. I feel like this is somebody that is usually like they get into friends with like 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 things where there's really no true emotion or love there, you know, surface level, um, superficial, sexual, lust. They're not used to anything like this. Anything else they need to know about this situation? What's so what does this mean? Why is this coming up for their reading today? The two of swords again. Oh my god. So who ace of cups? What about the ace of cups? The ace of swords, okay. And the seven of pentacles. What's to do with my twin flames? The king of pentacles. Somebody is deciding that they want to commit to you. Yeah, that they want to take this seriously with you. But why now? Why now? Yeah, now they want to cut off their karmics. Now they want to do the inner work. Now they want to clean up their life. Why? Page of cups. The knight of swords. Three of cups. What about the three of cups? What's the three of cups? The awakening. They're, they're realizing that they have realized something since you guys cut this person off. That's all I can say, guys. Since you guys took that leap of faith and set boundaries or cut this person off, walked away from them, stopped talking to them, blocked them, whatever you did, they are realizing something. Like, they're having, like, that you that you are their person. We have the queen and king of pentacles out here. I don't know where the king went, but it's out here somewhere. Where did it go? It was out here. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, we have the king and queen of pentacles out here. They feel like you are their perfect match. But why is the Ten of Swords? But they did something to you. They betrayed you in some way. There was a painful ending here. The Three of Wands and the Page of Wands. They're reaching out to you, but what about after this ending? They were hope they were waiting for you to reach out to them, but now what? They've been taking their sweet old time with coming towards you with an offer or communication. Yeah. What about this karmic partner? What about karmic partner? Ten of Wands, they're releasing somebody, somebody that's a burden. They maybe felt like some type of obligation to a karmic partner or a codependency. But that situation was burdening them. What about that situation, though? Is it coming to an end? They could be letting somebody go. Yeah, making a sacrifice here. Letting something, releasing something or gaining a new perspective. Pisces energy. But why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Seven of Cups. Mm, I don't like that. What a catch. And now what? The Six of Cups. Money focus. This person knew who you were. They knew who you were all this whole time, but they were holding on to this other person because of money. I'm sick of this. Like, huh. they were like, should I keep holding on to this person? Because, you know, there's something to do with money with this third party. It's somebody that they have history in the past with. Money and history is there. But they also knew that you were a catch. They were trying to hold on to you and somebody else. And what about the five of pentacles? But they didn't maybe feel good enough for you or they feel like you've left them out in the cold. They feel rejected by you or they, they either left you on the cold and it things with you and rejected you. But why are they in their ego? Divine timing. Or they, I'm telling you guys, somebody walked away from you. In divine timing, there's justice going to be brought to a situation. I just saw justice, Libra energy. They're, they're going to either, they're getting their karma right now or the, things are going to get balanced out in a situation with you and this person. I think that they, they're, something about their ego and them not feeling good enough for you made them choose to end things with you or let things end and possibly stay in a situation where they go back to somebody that they had a history with or that they or stay with a person that they had history with and there was money money was a factor there as well okay um let's see more about what's going on here because lord let's get a few more toxicity mm. their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul so they have toxic people around them yeah potential but there was always potential here they're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions okay so what did this what did this card just say they had toxic people around them that were keeping them from seeing the potential in you tell me more now they're think now they want to leave something. But what is giving this person this clarity? Because I see now they see the potential in this connection. I see now that they're ready to walk away from something. Because it says they are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. But what is giving them this clarity? 
about you? What is making them see things clearly? We have choices. Yes, we know that they had a choice. There is a choice that they have to make. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. So maybe it's because they feel like they're running out of time. That, that, that really doesn't answer my question, though. I do see that Saudi is feeling some type of urgency to make a decision. They feel like they're very close to losing you for good. But what is giving them this clarity to make this decision? Is it just they're afraid to lose you? What is giving them this clarity? Awakening. Yeah, but what is triggering the awakening? The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. But what's triggering that? But I'm telling you guys, you did. You triggered this. With boundaries, it's because you guys walked away from them. You and you set boundaries and you're standing on them. Standing on business. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them. You maybe told this person, like, I don't like when you do this. I am not okay with this. And if you do this, this, and this, I'm going to leave you. And they maybe thought you were playing and that you would be back, but they're realizing you're not playing. That you're you're serious about these boundaries and like they overstepped, their, they overstepped your boundaries and they weren't expecting you to really be serious about walking away from them. But when you guys really made that decision to walk away from them, it started making them look at things differently. Temptation. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. They definitely have been trying to resist this though, but we have divinely guided here. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. See, discovery. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. Once they start seeing, new, having a new perspective here, they've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. What is making them discover this, though? See, they're starting to realize that they have more feel like they, maybe at some point they were convincing themselves that they just were sexually attracted to you. They're starting to realize that it's something more definitely deeper going on between the two of you. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Like, for some reason, maybe they were thinking that it was just temporary, that you only like them. Maybe, like, if they have good sex or something like that. They're like, oh, they just like me because of that. Like, or they were thinking that, if you know, if you have good sex, whatever. They were, it's something like that. But they're starting to realize that it's something deeper than that. Um, what is, give me one more card on discovery. Discovery. Healing. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. Like I said, that justice energy, they've definitely been keeping tabs on you. They've been watching your social media media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. And we have hopeful. They're opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because their life, you give their life meaning. And we have music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that definitely is emotionally unavailable. And they are very confused about these feelings that they had for you. Huh. Give me one more out of this deck because I'm still not seeing like... I definitely see that you have triggered this person to finally awaken. Unfounded fear. Yeah, they are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. Unseen factors. Though There's more to this love story. Though you cannot see it now, there's still much more to unfold. I'm telling you, this person has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. They see you as marriage material. And we have coming apart. Yep. And while they were so busy re resisting this connection, they may have just let you slip away. I definitely feel like this person is worried that you have settled down with somebody else. I'm telling you, they are worried that you settled down with somebody else. It's like it's gotten to that point where they don't feel like they can deny this connection for you anymore. So... I don't even want to get into this deck, really, because it gets messy. <laughs> but let's get a few of these, and then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. Let's do four, they said. Four cards. Please don't. Uh, I'm hoping that's not anything too crazy for y'all. Four cards. And then we're going to, okay. I'm lost without you, and we have this. Ooh, they're, they're in the regret, guys. They are in regret. This mistake cost me what matters. I'm lost without you. They had to feel your absence. I'm telling you. The absence of you in their life. Two more. Plotting on your downfall. See, here we go. What is that about? Power couple. There's somebody that doesn't want the two of you to come together. Because they know what the two of you coming together means. 
I'm telling you, somebody does not want the two of you to come together. Give me one more. Ooh. It could be somebody's husband or wife. What in the hell? Plotting on your downfall, husband or wife. I feel I do not deserve you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Who's plotting on the downfall? They don't feel the same. Who doesn't feel the same? Family. I'm telling you. They, somebody sees you as husband or wife material, but I feel like there's somebody that their family is like, doesn't think that you are good for them or something like that, or that you're not, I don't know why, why soulmate. Cause remember we had that first card that says that there's toxic people around them that are creating them or making them not see the, what did it say? It's keeping them from seeing the, like the potential in this and creating distance between the two of you. Put your kids and priorities first. Yeah, of course. This is in it for the long haul. I am not available. Guarded. Ooh, some of you guys, are, you know what? I don't think, you guys are very guarded towards this person. Now you may be emotionally unavailable towards them. Or you're just not going to let them come back. I took the easy, no, I think that this person was guarded and they thought it was easier because they knew that you wanted something stable and long term maybe at the time they weren't ready for that they knew what you wanted and their family was also like trying to work against you the two of you coming together we do have bad timing here on the back of the deck you look at this you are the best thing to ever happen to me wow look at this oh my gosh they hate you and it's jealousy i'm telling you <laughs> It's their family. Their family does not want the two of you to be together. For some of you, they don't want the two of you to be together because this person has people around them that use them or take advantage of them or something. Because before, um, behind, they hate you and it's jealousy. It says beggar, mooch, opportunist, user. So they can have people around them. See, I'm secretly plotting against you. They, the, the, the people, yeah, they're a people pleaser. Look, guys, people pleaser habits coming through. I can't, I'm holding it weird, but like, they want to keep benefiting off of your person. They feel like if the two of you come together, they don't want to lose the benefits that they get from your person. I don't know how, money, help, whatever it is. They feel like if the two of you come together, they're going to lose, they can't use your person anymore. They can't benefit off your person anymore. Or like, they won't have access to your person like they do right now. Wow. Wow.